Hey, what's going on? Guys, girls, patriots, patriots, and all the rest of you bastards out there. Reading that coming to you again here. A uh, couple of things I want to touch on. Uh, first, new law in Mississippi. Then probably some Korean shit. And then some DHS fucking ammo-related shit. And then, yeah, maybe a little something there at the end. But those are my three topics I'm going to try to cover here. Um, first off, damn, what was my first time? Oh, Mississippi, the new law goes into effect in Mississippi, uh, January, no, July 1. I don't know why the hell I said January. Um, probably because it feels a little bit like January almost, but, um, anyway, there's been a lot of confusion in Mississippi when it concerns open carry. Uh, me, I've open carried for years and really never gave a damn i've had probably a total of four encounters three four probably four encounters all together um maybe five but no more than five um encounters with a uniform while i was open carrying over the years um none of them ever ended up me wearing nice shiny bracelets or you know being you know, detained or any of that mess. Um, because Article 3, Section 12 clearly states the legislature may only regulate or forbid the concealed carry of weapons. So some asshole decided to write a very piss poor written law, which was probably very intentional, that had the term, you know, it's illegal to carry concealed in whole or in part, you know, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. And there were some folks making the argument, and actually there was a court opinion. Now, opinions are not ruling, and it is not case law. Um, I'm not a lawyer. Let me throw that in there. Consult legal advice. Um Yeah, court opinions, you know, some judge's opinion is not law. It is not statute, or, or, and it's not case law. It's, it's, it's nothing but his own fucking opinion. Just like the opinions I'm espousing now. They're nothing but my own, and that's all it is. Same thing with this asshole. Said that conceivably a, what do you say, a throng of you know, rope or something through the eyelet of a revolver and the handle hanging around your neck would partially conceal it. You know, whatever. I don't buy that shit. And, um, like I said, that was just his opinion. And, whatever. Um, the new law basically eliminates that whole concealed or in whole or in part mess. And clearly defines concealed as being concealed. It's kind of like, well, no shit. Concealed means concealed. Um, concealed does not, you know, if something is uh, readily identifiable, visible, and you can tell it, what it is, then that does not mean it's concealed. And uh, belt holsters, clips, or sheaths designed to carry that said you know, weapon, uh, and you can identify it as said weapon, then it is not fucking concealed. Um, you know, at least have two brain cells to rub around whenever you're fucking talking about concealed. Um, so, hey, go for Mississippi. And it also says that, um, you know, no fucking permits is required, which it wasn't in the first place. It's just actually been clarified. So, any of you folks plan on visiting Mississippi, you live in Mississippi, come um, July 1, you no longer have to worry about the misconception or construment of concealed in whole or in part. Um, so, strap it on, walk down Main Street, wide out in the open, they ask for a permit, tell them to piss off. Consult legal advice before you do so. I mean, I don't want you... I don't want to be getting in trouble because some asshole said, well, Redneck said I can do it. And <clears throat> I will say that I've carried in the open for several years, never had a problem. Uh, been stopped, asked for a permit, and, you know, had conversations with uniforms that never ended badly for me. Oh, 
the worst I ever done. I actually made a video of it. The worst one I ever had was at a movie theater, and you know, I ended up kind of you know offering to cover it up because you know. You know, I led him with my questions, you know, let me guess, you're worried about somebody seeing it and calling it an end, man with a gun, mandatory response, fucking ring the cavalry and all that mess, so how about I do you a favor and <clears throat> I'll cover it up while I'm in the theater, you know, would you be okay with that? And he's like, well, would you do that for me? You know, well, fuck yeah, I'll do the, you know, whatever, you know, it really pisses me off, I shouldn't have to, but whatever, and... I will say that, you know, probably over 90% of the time I open carry, um, there's very, very few times I'll actually conceal it. Um, uh, recently I did conceal it, um, because I went, uh, we had a, uh, some pretty close friends, had a little youngin and, uh, youngin wanted to have her birthday party over at the Chuck E. Cheese. So you got all them hordes of kids running around and all that mess. Well, even though I'm an open carry guy, you know, well, fuck, you know, all these damn kids and, you know, and probably some nervous parents and this, that, and other, hell, I'll cover it up. Besides, I had the gun buster sign, and, uh, which doesn't apply because I have the instructor certified endorsement on my permit. That's something you guys should actually look into if you're a Mississippi resident and permit holder. Um, the endorsement itself doesn't cost jack shit. But you have to pay somebody to take the class to give you the certificate to get the endorsement. Um, which brings me to a whole, you know, this whole open versus concealed debate. I, when I found out that it actually got signed into law, I decided to go do some uh, looking around, see, see, you know, see what the folks are saying. And, uh, <laughs> you know... Us pro Second Amendment guys, we know what it's like arguing to a fucking brain dead liberal that's completely anti gun. You know exactly what I'm talking about, trying to argue with somebody with that mentality. And if this offends you, good. Coming across these. Concealed carry fanatics, like the veracity in which they would attack people for open carrying. You're a bunch of fucking morons. And I have zero respect for you. I'm not going to attack somebody because they believe in concealed carry and that's the only method that they carry. That's fine. I'm of the opinion that if you have the legal means to do so and you can do it lawfully and uh, you do it with the right intent, carry, you're a dumbass if you don't carry. Um, just doesn't make any sense to me why you wouldn't when you have the ability to do so and remain within the law. <clears throat> but the veracity that these fuckers were attacking people who open carry. Oh, shit. Beep, beep. Okay. Uh, I'm doing this on my phone, so uh, it was just hollering at me, telling me it's about dead. Um, it's, it's just asinine. I don't attack anybody for the way that they carry. I look down upon people um, in a way only because I don't fucking understand their decision. So I, I don't guess I really look down on them. I just don't really fucking understand it. Um, why they wouldn't carry. I mean, I can understand, hey, man, people people are hard up right now. And, and even though they'd be legal, um, I, I know some folks that, you know, even though it'd be legal, they just can't afford, uh, you know, to go out and buy a good quality sidearm. And, hey, man, fucking I respect that. You know, that's that's cool. You know, whatever. Um, but people who just choose not to do so, I, I just don't fucking understand it. Um, but that's your choice. Um, and I don't care how you carry as long as you do carry, you know what I'm saying? It makes no difference to me. If you want to conceal it, fine. If you want to carry it out in the open, fine. 
How come these concealed carry fuckers can't be the same way? I've got my own reasons for carrying out in the open. It's not because I've got something to prove or um, I think I'm some kind of cowboy gunslinger or any of that mess. Um, the biggest reason why I carry in the open is because whenever I cover it up, whenever I hide it, I feel dirty. I feel like I'm the criminal that I'm trying to protect my family against. You know what I'm saying? It's criminals hide their guns. And whenever I hide my sidearm, it really makes me feel just dirty. That's the primary reason that I carry in the open. Um, but I will say another benefit is I don't have to worry about being really poked, pinched, or prodded, or any of that mess. Um, and it seems it also seems like I can have a faster deployment. Now, you know, I'm not going to debate it: open versus concealed, and this, that, and a mess. And oh, you're giving away your, uh, you know, you're giving away your element of surprise. Why would you do that? Fucker, if it's my time to fucking die, it's my fine. It's just my time to fucking die. That's all I got to say about that. And that's all I'm going to leave it. There it is. You conceal carry Nazis, fuck you. I have no respect for you. If you're going to attack me because of, of my choice of carriage, um, piss on you. No love for you at all. And there we go. If that offended you, good. I accomplished my mission. Now, uh, this Korean deal. Um, a couple of different ways of looking at this Korean mess. Um, crazy ass Koreans, man, they've been talking shit for a long time. Yes, they have nuclear ordnance. Now, whether it's some shit that they come up with or whether it's some shit the Chinese gave them, um, doesn't really fucking matter. That's purely academic. The fact is, is they've got it. They've tested it. Um, whether their choice of delivery system is purely academic, um, does it fucking matter if they pack that shit onto a rocket and send it our way? No. Um... There's a video for you to watch, if you haven't. Uh, type this into your uh, you know, YouTube search. I'm not going to put it in the description because I'm on my phone here. Um, nukes, Port of San Diego. I should pull up a two-part video. It was a newscast. I'll watch it. With a critically thinking mind. And listen to how the guy qualifies his statement. Uh, he was asked, have you ever found any nuclear... Was it, can't remember how exactly it was worded. If it was, have you ever found any weapons of mass destruction? Or... Uh, it, was, it was. That's basically what the question was. Have you ever found a fucking nuke? But it wasn't asked that way. And his answer was very carefully put not at this location where he was physically at. Um, and then, of course, his handler, you know, got in there and jumped all over it. And um, if you listen really closely in the background, you can kind of hear, you know, some of the exchange. Um, watch that. So they don't have to put that ordinance on a rocket and send it over here. Um, how many one Pedro Gonzalez's run across the border every fucking day? Well, I don't know. If shit keeps up, they'll be running back across. The, you know, they'll be going <laughs> back the other way. But, um, so, um, yeah, whatever. So, what? I read we sent some more Aegis cruisers over there. Um, if there wasn't any already over there, some stealth aircraft are supposed to be going over there. Uh, supposedly, uh, troop build up on the border, all that mess. And then Washington's like, oh shit, we're accusing this guy of, you know, escalating things. And here we are escalating things, you know, and whatever. Um, the only, the thing that kind of has, has, 
I don't know how their I don't know how their political system works other than you get that chubby asshole as being dictator. And but what do, what it means by the military has ratified the decision to preemptively nuclear strike America, I have no clue what the hell that means. Didn't bother reading it, uh, reading into that article too deep. Um, but I also read where the Russians are getting a little nervous. Now, if the Russians are getting a little nervous, that's going to make me a little nervous. Um, but at the same time, it's it's very convenient with some of this other stuff we got going on domestically that we can. Uh, oh look, look over there! What's happening over there? Let me do this over here. You know, that's kind of in the back of my mind what I think could be happening as well as, you know, just, you know, them crazy ass Koreans over just talking shit so they can some sort of extort some type of financial benefit, you know, some way, some shape, some form, somehow. I don't have a damn clue. Um, but that's just kind of kind of what I get from it. Um, you know, it seems like that's what what they've done in the past. Talk some crazy shit and they get paid to shut up. Um, you know, hopefully that's all it is, but the fact that the Russians are, you know, um, are saying that they're a little bit worried and, you know, well, that kind of worries me a little bit too. Um, all right, moving right along. Long ass video here. Uh, Homeland Security Ammo. Uh, what the hell they need over 2 billion rounds for? Uh, Congress has tried to question why the hell are you making all these purchases? What's the reason? And after being ignored who knows how many damn times, finally a very um, just it's cheaper if we buy it in bulk answer fairly generic and probably only said that just because of how much hounding they was getting. Um, well, the plain and simple fact is that uh, a good fair amount of this, you know, a good fair amount of this ammunition does uh, not meet the Geneva Conventions when it comes to using it in a armed conflict. Uh, well, but they can be used domestically just fine. Along with all these drones and stuff like that, I think that it's uh, all this, the DHS ammo purchases, uh, I believe it's a two-part deal. Probably more than that, but Let's just go with the two obvious reasons. One, to prepare themselves for when the inevitable becomes a reality. And you know what the fuck I'm saying. And I think the second part, which also has something to do with the first part, is backdoor gun control. Well, if they can't restrict weapons, if they cannot restrict if they cannot restrict this, if they can restrict these, then there you go. Um, backdoor gun control. Because that doesn't make a very good club. I can use other things more effectively as a club than, you know, a fucking rifle or, you know, a pistol or whatever. So I think it's kind of a two-part deal. Limit the supply to us and build up their supply to use against us eventually. Um, that's just my two cents. It's kind of funny, though, because I've got, you know, a feller that's, uh, Seems like he's slowly awakening, kind of wiping the sleep out of his eyes a little bit. Uh, I'm not ready for the whole cold hard truth in its entirety. Um, and then I actually had a, uh, used to be a really good friend of mine. His mother actually was talking to me about drones. And it's just, I, I never knew you thought like that. She's like, well, honey, I'm changing. I fucking see. But we, you know, there's an open joke between me and this guy that, uh, you know, I've got a fucking drone dedicated to me. You know, it fucking follows me around everywhere I go, and it's just fucking waiting for the right moment for that hellfire to launch. You know, that's just, that's a joke. Um, hell, who knows? It might not be a joke. You know, hey, fuck you. Hope you can see that. You know, with your ground penetrating fucking sensors and all this other mess you got. Fuck you. 
I also talk mad shit to the guys when I'm on the phone with some of my buddies. You know, we'll talk mad shit to them sometimes just for shits and giggles. Um, <laughs> sounds a little crazy, man, but that's what we do. Um, if you've ever had a phone conversation with me, you've probably heard the, the, the different clicks and different shit that happens in phone conversations. Uh, and, and it's not me doing it. So I don't know if they're just being lazy or if they're just, you know, wanting to let you know, hey, we're fucking here or a glitch in the system or what. I don't fucking know. Um, and then anyway, so I think I'm fixing to cut it right there. Um, I got a lot of practicing I need to do. Um, trying to learn this damn guitar in my spare time, figure if all hell goes, you know, if all hell breaks loose and, uh, you know, at least I'll be able to sit around a campfire and strum a few notes. Um, not with this, you know, get a fucking acoustic, of course, but anyway, let me show you guys what I'm, uh, ah, shit, I can't, can I not do that? Nope, I guess not. I guess I'm stuck in this view here. Um, there you go. There's a little something that I acquired a while back. And I was practicing on that dude there. And just absolute horrid sound. Actually, it wasn't bad. Um, I just didn't like the, the, the sound I was getting out of it. And matter of fact, went and got me a little distortion pedal. You could probably see it down there fucking somewhere. But here we go. Recently got me that dude right there. So, uh, actually... Got a damn good price on it. That's a 75 watt PV Viper. Um, I picked it up for less than a buck fifty. Uh, that's a modeling deal, so I got 12 different models there. Uh, I got 11 preamp effects that are completely editable. You know, like uh, you can you can change. Uh, it's got two different uh parameters on it that you can change so it's not like you know you just put it on an auto wah and it's it's just there you can actually change it um see that dude boot up does a nice little pretty light show and shit and then uh got 12 different amp models here it's got the clean and the dirty it's got 11 more effects here i can use one of these effects and one of these effects simultaneously uh, along with the amp model uh, clean or dirty channel and those are fully editable over here uh, pre-gain that's going to kind of control some of the distortion and shit low mid high post gain which would be like the overall gain got a dedicated delay here uh, with the feedback and the level and it's got a reverb here with the feedback and the level and uh, the bastard goes up to fucking 13 um, when I'm here uh, in my back garage uh, I keep it on about one and I keep my guitar volume on about one. Um, that way the neighbors don't get woke up. If I go any much past that, then I risk some pissed off neighbors. The loudest I've ever had this fucker. I've, I've actually turned it up to 10 and had the volume on my guitar about halfway up and this bitch fucking screams. But anyway, I'm gonna get to it. Y'all have a good one.